What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo. This is episode 43 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. I think we're getting kind of near the end, guys. We are at Mount Lanikila. Yeah, we just finished up, I imagine, most of Pony Island. Um, when I look at the the map here, the flying system, it looks like there's there's some more places that I haven't seen. If you, if you look at the bottom area down here, bottom part of the screen. Uh, how do I... That way, guys. Over there. Come on. None of this. None of this one. None of that one up there. This one down here. Uh, we still we see that we still have Pony Plains, Pony Coast, and a place called Pony Gauntlet. So probably some post-game stuff, I'm imagining. Uh, but for now, we're going to hit this Mount Lanikila. It's snowing, which is cool. So my guess is if I want to get a Glaceon, this is where I go. Oh, good Gladians here. <sighs> I've been waiting for you. God, you're such a freaking punk, Gladian. Thank you for what you did for Lily, for our mother. He appreciates it maybe more than I know. And that's the only thing he can offer me. And thanks, uh, it, the only thing he can do is, is a great battle. So he's going to show me his full power, his real full power. Because all the other times he wasn't trying. Uh, but this time he will. This time he's going to, he's actually going to do his best. God, he's so, he looks like he's in physical pain, like squeezing his wrist. But he's got a Crobat. Who, who am I leading with? Is it still Lil P? No, it's Incineroar. Did I not get... Why am I leading with Incineroar? I don't know. I don't know, but I am. Um... We go for the right away Oko with Flare Blitz. Yeah, let's do that. He's gonna go for Cross Poison and hits me for Neglige. And I'm gonna slam to the jam this guy. Oof. I remember my first Flare Blitz. Uh, we can probably finish him off with the Darkest Lariat. He, he's got an Acrobatics, clearly no item. But he falls to the Incineroar. Falls hard. Uh, what's he got? Lucario. Ooh, that would be uh, that would be not a good, not a good uh, person for a Dark type to stay in against. Uh, Lil P is neutral to his Steel. Resists his fighting. Uh, McBro. You haven't seen any. You haven't seen any playtime in a while. And honestly, I'm probably gonna get rid of you pretty soon, if I have to be honest, because I'm t I'm tired. I'm turd of this. Uh, let's power up punch before we go for the close combat. I don't know, I don't think I'll Oko him. He's a fully evolved Lucario. Ooh, he's special. Special variety. Aura Sphere. God, McBro, why are you so weak? Wow, that would have killed him. Why didn't I, I should have just gone straight away for the close combat? Well, uh, gotta get McBro out of here now. Lil P can handle. Let's get Lil P in here. I need him in to hit the battlefield at least once in order to trigger the amulet coin, also. So, quick attack. You clever. Gladian, you clever boy. You a clever one. Oh, dang. He about to hit me with that Z move. What's he going for? Corkscrew crash. Neutral. Physical. At least it looks physical. I could be wrong, but if that's a special move, I'll eat my hat. Dang, get defeated, Lucario. But I gave him way too much of an opportunity. He shouldn't have been able to do that. I should have just gone for the close combat. I should have known I couldn't survive a two-hit KO and that he would outspeed me with my little McBro. Because here's the thing. At this point, I I'm wondering if there's, like, there's Pokemon in this game that I know you catch when there's weather. And I'm wondering if he's, like, Gumi, where you have to evolve him in weather or something like that. Uh, Silvally. 
Ah, uh, that's a new Pokemon. I don't know that I know what a Silverly is. So who are we going to get in? Let's have Bugnitude. Get Bugnitude in here. I popped a couple TMs on this guy between the last episode and now. We've got... Oh, cool! Ah, look at him! He's like... Is he like type no? He must be. Okay, so type no must evolve or something. I don't know what type you are. You kind of look like a bird. A little bit. Let's hit you with a Volt Switch. And then what? I don't really have any fast Pokemon. My team is so slow. But let's do it. Let's hit him with a Volt Switch. He's going to hit me with a Crunch. Bugnitude. Eat it up. But I do get the defense drop. That doesn't matter though. Uh, not very effective. So... It could be, could be grass. Um, what else is it not very effective against? It doesn't affect ground, so clearly it's not ground. Electric could be electric, could be grass. One way to figure that one out: Decidueye could go for a leaf blade on him if he's. If he's grass, it'll resist it. If it's electric, it won't. But I'm weak to dark type. He just went for crunch. Actually, my team's pretty weak right now. Let's send in Incineroar, who will resist crunch. And if it's grass, could be grass. Uh, if it's grass, then uh, Fire Fang will be super effective. Not going to go for the Flare Blitz on the off chance that I can... Ah, oh, God, he has X's. <laughs> Yes, grass type. There you go. Easy. And now he's got Huevel. Huevel. We're going to send in uh, Lil P, who resists both. And that's going to be how we finish out this match, because there is no way that Weavile will beat me now, unless he has Metal Claw. That'll be about it. Now he's going to go for the Night Slash. That shan't do the trick. It simply won't. Alright, Huevel. You go down. Night, night, Huevel. Oh, Gladian. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. Thanks for the 17,000 poke yen, though, buddy. It should have been hailing. Uh, did he just smile? You've got good Pokemon. He did for a second. I saw that, Gladian. I saw that. You poked a little smile. I know what kind of trainer you are now and what kind of journey you've been through. Well, I mean, you're pretty perceptive, man. I don't even know what journey I've been through, and I've been through it. Lily wanted me to tell you something. She's looking after our mother at the foundation. Geo has nothing to say. He's like, keep talking, Gladian. She wanted me to tell you that you're the best Pokemon trainer in the world, Geo. She gave me this for you. Always with these max... Max potions, max revives, max elixirs. I was working hard to get stronger, too. <laughs> you two are going to get even stronger... Then I guess I can't let my guard down yet. Smile. I know we aren't friends. Why aren't we friends? But we aren't enemies anymore either. Keep winning. Maybe I'll see you again if you do. Smile. Oh, he was walking right towards me. I was like, you squaring up, Gladian? I will punch your stupid blonde mouth. Mount Lanikila is famous for being the most impregnable of all Alola's various mountains. Very interesting. Ooh, is a... Uh... Doggo nose, go! No borking. What did I say? When you press B, he, he becomes Bork Doggo. I miss Lily Pup, little puppers. No Bork. Doggos get two Borks a day, but little puppers, they get, they, they zero Bork. Alright. That's a conspicuous rock. Not conspicuous enough for an item, though. Aha! Pokemon. Let's see what they got on Mount Lanikila. It's the this is basically Victory Road, so it better be some cool stuff. 
Sandshrew, which we've seen before. Have I caught Sandshrew before? Cannot remember. Uh, that would be a nay, Cotton. What can I do to you to not kill you? Probably nothing, TBH. Mm, both of my false swipers, Decidueye and Biggie Mac, are weak to ice. Unsportunately. But let's go Decidueye anyway. Maybe I should heal my Pokemon before I start trying to tackle this uh, victory road. The most difficult area that we've been to yet. Oh god, he's setting up on me. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh, holy, holy smokes, Cotton. Not very effective. So he's rock ice? Um, but Leaf Blade's not very effective. The only thing False Swipe... The only thing Normal's not very effective... Oh, it's Steel. Steel Ice. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's actually very cool. Like, V-A-R-Y cool. Take that, Sandshrew. Stick that in your stupid little cute mouth. Name. And there we go. Now we have a Sand Shrew. So I thought I caught a Sand Shrew. Didn't I? Did I? I guess not. But Bro gains a level. And then, um... Ah, yes! Yes, finally! Finally! Holy s***. Yes, finally! Yes! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. So, evolves in the hail? Is that it? That doesn't make sense though. Evolves on Mount Lanikila? Oh my god, I'm just so happy. My two trolls. My two trolls finally evolve. What are you? In a, he's an abominable snow crab. He's crab abominable. He's an ab <laughs> oh my god! Look at his little like his claws became paws. <laughs> his claws. <laughs> Are you fighting ice type? I love what they're doing with fighting types in this game. A fighting dragon. Now we got a fighting ice. Me likey that. Me likey that. Tell me you're fighting ice. Oh, I have to press a button, don't I? Fighting ice, yes! It just throws punches indiscriminately. In times of desperation, it can lop off its own pincers and fire them like rockets. So are you gonna learn a new move called like rocket pincer or something? Ice punch, all right. <laughs> I'll settle for ice punch. That's fine, just fine. Uh, oh god, what do we, um... Fighting ice, interesting. Well, Pursuit's not super useful. I'm not going to be scaring out psychic types. So let's drop that. Also, there's not a lot of switching in the, in the main game. Ta-da! Oh my god, I... Oh. I wonder how much I'm gonna have to reduce the volume in that section where I start screaming. I don't think I've screamed that loud this entire playthrough. I'm so excited about that. Oh, seriously. Oh yeah, I forgot I caught a sand shoe. <laughs> caught a sand shoe. Sand slash looks really freaking cool. Also, hopefully his stats got a little bit better. Ice steel is interesting. I still is very interesting. I shan't give you a nickname. You shall go to the box. Oh my. Oh me oh my. Speaking of Mio, where's my purple water? Well, I'll get it later. I see a green flash up ahead. 
It's a strange creature. Got any sniffles? No? Come on, doggo. What you got? Bork for me. Bork, bork, bork. Ah, Entrar the cave. Bork, bork. What do we got in the cave? Weavile. Well, Sneasel, probably. Snorunt. Boo. Boo. Get fire fanged. Don't protect on me. Come on. So I was going through some of my comments earlier and discovered uh, as I pulled up one of my older episodes of this that I stupidly uploaded the unedited version of episode 40, I think. So it has everything in it. My like clapping to synchronize my, my voice to the camera at the, uh, at the early part of the video. And, and it has, it has me saying like, okay, I'm going to cut through this and then I'm going to catch execute. And then you just watch me battle and execute for like eight minutes while it calls for reinforcements. <laughs> Most of the rest of it's fine. I don't do too much that's super time consuming in that episode. It's a very story heavy episode. But my goodness, Ice Beam, that is amazing actually. That's actually really, that's actually super cool. I'm going to drop... Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop acrobatics for this beast. No need for you. Oh my god, Ice Beam's amazing. I should check out uh, Crabominable's stats, because... <laughs> the last time I presumed about a Pokemon's stats, I said that I said that Vikavolt doesn't have good special attack, because I assumed the evolved form of a physical beast would be a physical beast, but nay. What do we got? Um, 193 attack. I think that's very high. That is higher than the special attack on Pre-Marina. My oh my. That's higher than the special attack on Vikavolt also. <laughs> Not bad, Crabominable. Not bad, huh? What's Decidueye? Decidueye, you suck at everything. Can you believe I was this close to choosing Rowlet at the beginning? Can you imagine how sad I would have been? Very is the answer. Stronger than Incineroar, too. Mm. You tell him, Crabominable. Let's get you a little playtime, huh? Put you up there. Stick this in your pipe and, s and do something. There we go. It would help to heal my Pokemon. And Mr. Phone's making noises, <laughs> movies and songs and fighting around the world. Picked up a couple of sweet props for Saturday. Mmm, nice. Sweet props. Oh, I should be on I should be on Bork Bork. Look, an icy rock. I'm telling you guys that I got to bring an Eevee in here and get a Glaceon. Just kidding. I already have a Glaceon. Thanks to the GTS. I don't know what I traded for it. I don't remember. Probably a Porygon. That's what I trade for, like, Earthing. Uh, let's just finish the Snorunt. No! No! I forgot. I'm incredibly slow. Slower than a level 43 Snorunt. But I'm powerful. My whole team is just nothing but, like, slow hard hitters. I, that's actually a lot of the Pokemon, now that I think about it. Yeah, that's how you evolve uh, the in-the-snow type mons. I would love to have full health Pokemon right now. Why am I not on Bork? I should be on Bork. Ugh, Golbat. Fast forward magic, please. I gotta give a choice scarf to this guy. This crabominable. Bork, bork. Poke, bork. 
Aha, uh -huh. I gotta go right, then go right, and then loop around, and then come back up. Do one of the old... One of the old... Right? Uh, fast forward magic, please. So far, nothing too interesting. There's a Z crystal in there, an Iceum. I shan't complain about that. That's kind of messed up that I could have missed that. Although I guess it's not like in the old games they were like, show us your badges, otherwise you can't take on the Elite Four. I don't imagine they're going to be like, show us your Z things. Oops, you forgot one. Better go randomly find the one you were missing. No. Bork is too fat. Up the stairs. It's almost there. Yes. No additional uh, encounters. Ooh. Geo's breathing hard. See them puffs? Puff, puff. Puff, puff, goose. What do we got? Items? Bork? No borking for me. Item here. Max revive. I don't care about these items. I so rarely use items. I don't I don't really care for them at all. Should I check the grass here for a few more? All I saw was a sand shrew. There's probably something else. Absol, which I already have. All right, that's enough battles there. I didn't see anything. Uh, I could be missing something. If so, I'll I'll know to come back here later. At this point, it's getting pretty late to switch my team around anyway, so might be wissywig when it comes to the comes to the elite four, or whatever they have here. I'm gonna get in the PMC, get a little heal up. So it's got to be one of the first times I'm going to be taking on the champions or whatever with just such a slow team. Every Pokemon on my team is so slow. Even a slight amount of speed completely just... This guy's lecturing that lady or... No, that's a boy sitting at the table. Uh, boring. The ultimate site to have the ultimate Pokemon battles and decide who's the ultimate Pokemon trainer. Very interesting. There's the cafe in the corner. Still don't know what it does. This girl's looking at... Yeah. And then we have an old lady here. Side quest. Madam Memorial. Oh, it's a remove reminder. For heart scales. Yes. Um, we want... Uh, I want Bugmitude to have Thunderbolt. Air Slash, too. Gonna drop Charge Beam. Uh, I'll probably drop Volt Switch. I don't... It's not that useful uh, in this mode when you can always just hard switch before but what else do I want I don't really care about air slash it's not bad it's a good move but what would I use it against where would I use air slash it's good against grass type but so is bug which is stab so it's uh, I could probably get him bug buzz would be better Yeah, there's no reason for me to get air slash that I can really think of. Fighting? I'm not too worried about fighting, though. I suppose it's better coverage for me than steel, but... I'm okay with this and keeping Roost. Because Bugging Tooth still got relatively decent defenses. Nothing to write to your mammy about, but, you know, not bad. Oh, a sparkling Z crystal from Vast Pony Canyon. What can I buy now? Anything I effing want to. Like super repels. But I should buy them at that one place that sells everything cheaper. I gotta keep moving. What am I doing? I'm taking way too long. This guy's looking over the world with his Machamp. 
used to be you could become champion of the island challenge by clearing the seven trials. I've exhausted all my strength just coming this far. What a trying path it is that we've chosen. You have a Machamp? I feel like the Machampion could be, uh... By himself, to single. Professor Kukui called up everyone who had ever passed all the trials or become an Island Challenge champion and summoned them here. He said, Don't you want to see what it takes to be called a world class champion? So Kukui, he's got the no. You know what I mean? Aha! Green sparkles. Get in there, you strange creature. Aha! How? I'm going to battle how? Is he going to give me a full restore? Or a max ether? So after we split up at Aether Paradise, I went and cleared all the rest of my trials, and then I even went back home to train with Elima a bit. How did you do that so quickly? I was just thinking it's time to take on the Pokemon League, and I heard from Gladian that you were already heading here, Geo, so I booked it as fast as I could. That was like the fastest I've ever moved in my life, you know? That's not what I came here to tell you. Geo, we're going to decide which one of us will be the first to the Pokemon League. You're going to need to use your full force if you think you're going to beat my team when we're serious about winning. Okay, so... Battle of the uh, Melee Melee Island Buds. He's going to lead with his Psychic Raichu. And I'm Fighting type. Yeah, I don't want to get demolished by this guy. So I'm going to make a hard read and send in send in a dark type mon. There, take that. Stick that in your tiny little flying tail. Oh god, he has focus blast. This man's got coverage. Ouch. Bye 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 You guys like my stylus? This is, uh... This stylus says Nintendo on it, you can't really see. Uh, ooh, Kamala. Let's send back in... McBro. This stylus, at one point, had a Dialga on top of it, and I got it, um... I think it was a pre-order gift from GameStop when I got Pokemon Diamond, or... back in the day, which is... Kind of crazy to think about. Uh, let's just let's just CC this guy. He's got a wood hammer. That's all right. He's gonna hurt himself, and you are dead, Mr. Kamala. There's no way you survived that. I'm sorry. This guy's attack stat is so monstrous. It's gonna take some getting used to, but everything will die. Incineroar. Um, let's get Biggie Max some playtime. I think I double resist Incineroar, right? Both stab? Why is no one answering me? Come on. Talk to your screens, please. I will hear you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And Clanging Scales is going to muerte you. You're going to be dead. Get deaded. I actually outsped him. Oh, God. That did so much less damage than I thought it would, and he has Earthquake. Ah. You can learn Earthquake? Ow! I lowered my own defense. That's my own fault. I could pop an Iron D. That would put me at plus one. Half the damage. I might be able to survive this. Let's pop. Let's go. Let's go for it. I'm going to pop an Iron D. Instead of at minus one, taking that amount of damage from Earthquake, I'm going to be at plus one. If I live, I can pop a potion. I should have done the math. Yeah, I, I do live. Okay. So now I can use a potion of some sort on me. 120 HP is plenty. 5 HP off max. So I think, let's set up all over this guy. Let's go for another iron defense. Now we're at plus three. Uh, I think, I think I'll go for one more. 
I am super risking him getting a crit and just finishing my career here, but... Uh, this could also... Biggie Matt could also take me to the bridge right now. Very low damage. Uh, Dragon Claw probably will do more than Clanging Scales. Yeah. It's actually going to be close to see whether or not I, I take him out or he takes me out. 57 down to 42, so 15 damage a hit. So I'll survive two more. The third one will kill me. He might be running out of Earthquakes, though. How many... What's PP does Earthquake normally have? 10? Yeah. I can take one more as long as it doesn't crit. And this probably won't kill him. Oh, God. Oh, what a bait. What a bait. All right. Yes. Okay. Calm down. We need this world. Ah, man. Uh, way too ballsy going for the big clanger right from the get-go. Man, that sucks. Um, bet my Incineroar is better than your Incineroar. But let's see. Yeah, you know I'm better. Take that. It moved so slowly I thought it wasn't going to kill, but it, it did. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Ooh, let's get Bugnitude to try something against a Leafeon. Yeah, I'll mess with that. Leafeon's, uh, I think, I forget, I think Leafeon has good defense, but not great special defense. Ah, baby doll eyes. You're my baby doll, Leafeon. Just kidding, you're the worst of the Eevees. Ha! <laughs> Flareon's pretty bad too, to be honest, but grass type is just garbage. So being a not very good grass type Pokemon is unfortunate. Look how sad he is. Well, I really wanted my Pokemon to know how it feels to beat your team this time. But being seriously frustrated will only make me stronger. So you better go and become champion, because I'm going to train so that I can become... I can come beat Champion Geo. Good luck. Three max revives, as per usual. I'm actually... I'm really glad the kid who moved here to Alola turned out to be you, Geo. I have not said a word this entire game, and people are just, like, making friends with me, like, oh, uh, you sure showed me, huh, Geo? I just stare them in the face, like, oh, you know, I, you don't even need to say a word. I, I know what you mean. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about, Geo. Oh, man, we're such good friends, huh, Geo? Ah, <laughs> you got me, man. Right, I'm going to heal up. He might have done that for me automatically and just not showed me anything IDK, but... I have an idea. You know what I want to do? No, I'm not going to tell you guys. This is going to be a surprise. <laughs> I want my uh, Komo'o to be a to be a setup mom. But I don't want to use iron defense. I don't like boosting defenses when you don't have any form of recovery is so... Bleh. Hi, Kakui. Whoa. You built this Kakui? Not bad, bro. Hey there, Geo. Whoa, you've come a long way. You made it through all these trials and grand trials and made it up the island challenge. Congratulations. Aren't you cold? <laughs> nah, I'm fine. My soul burns hot. Yeah, hotter than a blast burn, even. Just one thing left to show you, to, or just one thing left for you to do take on the Pokemon League. This is where the real fun starts. Mount Lanakila. It's where we fin always finished up the island challenge. We built our Pokemon League right up here. Let's hide into the heavens we get to show respect for our legendary Pokemon and to honor it. God, I don't care. 
So remember it like it was yesterday. Indigo, Indigo Plateau, blah, blah, blah. His team battling. And the last guy, the dragon user in the cape. Oh, you mean Drake. Oh, sorry. Enough about me. Let's get you in there. Yeah. But before you head in, make sure you're good and ready. You won't be able to come back out. Well, I healed up. I healed up. But tell me about these items that you got around here. Zzz, do it, kid. Become the champion. I've been with you this whole time. I know you can. That's true, Rotom. You're my oldest friend in this game, pretty much. Well, actually, I guess all of my other friends... All of my other friends have actually known me longer because I didn't get you until I went to Kukui's lab. And that was like the third thing I did. I wait to hear of your victory. Both those guys say the exact same thing, which leads me to believe that they're paid to say that, which makes it less important. So it is an Elite Four. I thought it was going to be so much more... I thought they were going to have this cool, like, tournament thing. I, I, I don't know. Every Pokemon League in every region all over the world features four fantastic trainers called the Elite Four. Here in Alola, we've got four trainers all lined up for our Pokemon League. You'll win your way past every last one of them. You can't leave until you do, or until you give up. Sounds good. Crabominable can sense when its trainer is nervous. Stay loose, you'll be fine. Crabominable can't sense that. I expect you'll show me some intense moves and real heart-stopping battles in there. Good luck, Geo. Crabominable. Thank you guys for watching. That This might be a little bit of a short episode. I don't know. I just kept Mountain Lion Aquila wasn't as long as I thought. Two fun battles in it. But next thing we're going to do is take on the Elite Four. As always, my name is Doom Leader Geo. You guys the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you guys in the championship.